Well, hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with a week two recap of the XFL and my picks and the picks for week three of the XFL. So, uh, just to recap, you know, I watched um, all four games again this week. And um, I almost think, I almost feel like the play got worse in week two. Um, if anybody out there has been watching the games, let me know if you get that impression. I mean, particularly in the Dallas game, Dallas against L.A., there were a lot of mistakes, a lot of dropped balls, quarterbacks overthrowing people, underthrowing people, missing people. I mean, it's happening a lot more than I think it should be happening. Um, especially after the teams have been practicing together for as long as they have. And this was the second game. So I'm hoping that the play, the quality of play gets better. Um, I really want to see that. Um, because it is noticeable. I mean, I, I get that all of the teams have about the same level of talent. And so if everybody has the same relative level of talent, everything should be fine. And, and that's cool. But when you have somebody that's wide open and there's nobody around him and the ball hits him in the hands, he should catch it. Or if there's a wide open receiver running down the field alone, you the quarterback should not be missing those guys as often as it seems like they are. So anyway, um, just to recap, if you remember in week one I was three and one. Well, this week I was four and zero, oh, and so on the season that puts me at seven and one. I am getting almost eighty eight percent of the of my picks right, which is far better than I was with the NFL, if you remember this past season. And if you don't, go back and look, because all those videos are still up, um, where all my picks in the NFL, but yeah, with the XFL, I'm doing a lot better. So next week, February, Saturday, February 22nd, um, the 2 p.m. game will be the Houston Roughnecks at the Tampa Bay Vipers. And in that game, I'm going with Houston. Even though they're on the road, they had an impressive victory over the Battle Hawks. And they also won in Week 1, so they're 2-0. They're coming into this game 2-0. And um, Tampa Bay, um, they don't look that... I mean, first of all, they haven't scored an offensive touchdown yet. So, there's that. Um, week one, they had a whole ton of yards, and they were going up and down the field, but they just couldn't. They just couldn't put it in the end zone. So I'm going to go with Houston there, and that game is on ABC at two o'clock on Saturday, and then the 5 p.m. game on Fox will be uh, Dallas at Seattle, and in that game, I'm going with Dallas. Um, uh, so, I mean, Dallas looked pretty good in, in beating L.A. Well, they looked pretty good near the end of the L.A. game. For most of the L.A. game, I thought L.A. was dominating the, the game. And I thought even they might, they, they might actually win. But right near the end, Dallas somehow from somewhere found their running game. And then um, L.A. had no answer for it. So... Uh, and Landry Jones is back. Uh, this was his first week playing in the uh, XFL, his first um, seasonal game that counted. Um, and he was seriously rusty. And every time they asked him what he needed to do or what happened on that play, he just said, basically he said different versions of, I suck and I need to get better. So let's hope he gets better. Um, Sunday... February 23rd, the 3 p.m. game will be the New York Guardians at the St. Louis Battle Hawks. In that game, I'm going with St. Louis. They're at home, and they've looked pretty impressive. 
They're one and one right now, but they've looked pretty impressive in both games for various different reasons. And um, with a little more time, they might actually have come back and even um, beaten the Roughnecks. And in fact, they dominated the time of possession and really kind of dominated that game. They just had too many key turnovers. So that game is on ESPN at three. And again, I'm going with St. Louis in that game. And then, of course, the 6 p.m. game, that leaves D.C. at L.A. And I am, of course, going with the D.C. defenders in that game. Uh, that's on FS1 at 6. The defenders are 2-0. They look really good. Um, L.A. looked good defensively uh, this week, but offensively... Offensively, they just don't seem to, they don't seem to be gelling right. Um, and um, their quarterback is uh, Josh Johnson or something. I, f I forget, but he used to play for the Redskins. He played for a lot of different NFL teams as a backup. Um, and he was on the Redskins a couple of years ago. But anyway, their offense just wasn't. It doesn't seem to be clicking. So, um, and DC is two and zero. They um, they seem to be. DC is not. They're not dominant defensively, and they're not a great offensive team. But they're balanced enough that the two play off each other well and seem to uh, give them a good chance to win every week. So those are my picks. I'm going with Houston, Dallas, St. Louis and DC next week and I'm I'm giving a I'm you know taking that 7 and 1 record out for a spin and uh, hoping it can come back big time so yeah I mean could you imagine if I go like 4 and 0 again or even 3 and 1 so anyway but at this point I mean I could go over and 4 and I'd still be have a pretty good record for the year but uh, anyway that was uh I think uh, I think this this league has a chance. I really do. But the quality of the play has to improve. I think it will, as players get used to playing with each other, and as they play more. Because you have to remember, a lot of these guys haven't played a competitive football game in probably years. So I think that as we go through the schedule and we get more games and more games under their everybody's belts. I think the play should improve. Receivers should start catching passes that are thrown right to their hands. And the quarterbacks should be hitting these receivers um, more often and not completely missing them when there's no reason to miss them. But, um, you know, I always I welcome comments. What do you guys think? Um, you like it? Do you think it's getting better? Do you think uh, it has a chance to survive? And uh, don't forget, subscribe, ring the bell, pass the video on to anybody that you think might be interested. And then, of course, there's my contact information. There's my Twitter, my Instagram, and my email at the bottom. Be really interested to hear what you think. I love the football. I love it. I mean... I don't know what I would have done this weekend with no football, with no XFL. So, I mean, I might have watched hockey, but, you know, there is that. But anyway, let me know what you think. But for right now, it's Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.